Hello everybody and welcome to another video on the Coffee by Gordon Facebook page. Today I'm going to be making a Vietnamese style coffee using a traditional Vietnamese coffee filter. So, what do we need? Okay, first of all I have my cup, a glass cup, just let you see the layers that's in the coffee. Today I'm going to be using uh, Las Prisas coffee from the, the, the Django Coffee Company. Um, this is from Colombia, it's a Colombian coffee and it's from, uh, it originates from um, Huila, which is one of the regions in uh, Colombia. It's a very um, sweet tasting coffee with uh, fruit tastings, especially black cum coming out of it. Lovely coffee. So today I'm going to grind that down my grinder to a medium uh, grind. Not too fine and not too coarse. Because we're going to use this little gadget here. And this is a traditional Vietnamese coffee filter. It's a, a, a cross between a French press um, or a cafetiere and it's also um, got the, the, the basics of a, a pour over filter. So what we have is we have the component which sits on top of the main filter which sits on top of your cup like so. Just bring that over a bit let's see it. But then we have the inner filter which screws down inside like so. Pressing down the coffee granules, getting as much flavour and oils out of the coffee as it can. And then what we do is we pour in the water on top. So essentially, it's got two components that were filtering the coffee through, pour over style by pouring it down and it drips into the coffee cup, just like a drip filter would do. And we're using um, a component that presses down the coffee a bit like a French press cafetiere does. The whole brewing process for making Vietnamese coffee takes roughly five minutes. So, and it produces a lovely uh, flavour coffee. Some people think it's a bit bitter. If we're using Vietnamese coffee, then Vietnamese coffee by standard is um, very much a bitter tasting coffee. So I'm going to use this Colombian coffee. I'm going to grind it down, put it through the filter. And to sweeten up, we're going to be using some condensed milk. So I have a, a jug in here of lovely condensed milk and the coffee will sit nicely on the top. So... First of all, I'm going to grind the beans down. So I've got my beans uh, in my grinder, and I'm just going to grind them. Down. There we go. So this is ground down enough beans um, for essentially two cups of coffee in here. But we're only going to use one scoop in the filter. Enough for one cup of coffee so I'm just going to sit it on top like so and I'm just going to pop in my grind and then I'm going to just screw down on top just clear off the screw just going to screw down on top just flam it as far down as we can get there we go on top in here I've got some water that I previously boiled in the kettle I've allowed it to cool down slightly. You don't want the water too hot. Yeah. And I'm just going to pop that back on. And I'm going to fill this up. Just slowly topping it up to the top. I'm going to let that just sit neatly in, on there, like so. And pop on the lid. Now, as you will see, if we can get down on the camera... You can see it's starting to slowly filter through. As I say, you'd normally serve this, uh, it takes about five minutes, and you'd normally be served this in a coffee shop in Vietnam, but it sits in front of you, so it's quite a good idea that you get to see the coffee brewing in front of you and filtering through, which is fantastic. And uh, already I can smell the coffee coming off the filter. So we're going to let that just filter through. <clears throat> for a few moments check and see how it's doing by lifting off the lid yeah slowly slowly filtering through and it's great to see it and you can just smell that coffee as it runs through let's just see how it's doing dripping through yeah very slow drips 
which is what you want because it's a slow process. You don't want to rush the process of making coffee, especially something as tasty as this. You want to be able to savour the flavour of the clubbing coffee. And as I said to you, you know, this has got summer fruits of um, summer fruit notes coming from it of black cum and lime if you're really into your coffee. That's ideal. The the uh, Django Coffee Company originate from uh, Melbourne in Australia and uh, I was sent this coffee by uh, Craft Coffee Club to try out and uh, it really is uh, a wonderfully um, smooth tasting coffee. So we're nearly there now with it dripping through. Just do a check on it again and we'll just give it a little stir. It is slowly dripping through, which is great. So, that's the coffee, it's been a couple of minutes now, and that is the coffee filtered through, so you can see some of the grind and the top, and also what's compressed between the, the plate and uh, the outer filter, so I'm just going to pop this on this plate here to let you see it. So there we have the it's still dripping through. So there we have some some of the coffee in there, the grind and the outer plate, the filter. So it's lo filtered through, lovely. So pop that in a plate, and a wee cafe in Vietnam they would take that away for you. Pop that to one side. So there you are, some beautiful, lovely. I'll just hold this up for the camera. Filtered coffee. Vietnamese style. So, to finish this off, because it is Vietnamese coffee, um, this particular coffee is called Cafe Su Nong. So, Cafe Su Nong. And it's a C A P H E S U A N O N G, Cafe Su Nong. And what it means is it's coffee um, with sweetener or milk. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pop in some condensed milk, just some ordinary condensed milk, and just going to gently pour that. I found this on the web for open some milk. Check it out. On top, like so. And there we have a lovely. Vietnamese style coffee. Thanks so much for watching guys and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.